Well, we're running low on low-hanging fruit, but we're not quite done yet. There's still some easy things to get. They may not look easy, but here they are. Let's try the 630 cage. That's going to be interesting because if you take the number 630 and you divide it by 2, you get 315, which is going to help us later. We won't have to factor this because we'll already have done it. And 2 won't go into 315, but if you know your divisions and uh, uh, what goes into what, you'll know if these add up, if these digits add up to a number that, that's divisible by 3, then this whole number is divisible by 3. So if you add 3 and a 1 and a 5, you get 9. 9 is divisible by 3, so 3 will factor into this. And what do we get? 1, 0, oh, 5. Will 3 factor into that? I'll give you a second to do it. Add up the digits. Right, they add up to 6. 6 is divisible by 3. We can do it. And when you um, divide 3 into that, you get 35. Will 3 go into 35? No, because it adds up to 8. Okay, what will go in? Well, we know 5 will go in. And that goes in 7 times. 7 times is a prime number, so we're done. These are the factors. So 2, 3 to the second, 5, and 7. Now we know that 5 and 7 must go in one of these cells. How do we know that? Because they're prime, and if you multiply either one of them by any number, except for 1, uh, which will give you your, itself anyway, which wouldn't change it. But if you multiplied it by any other number, it would make it higher than 9. Multiply this by 2, 3, or whatever, it'll give you 10, 15, or whatever, and that won't, you can't use it. So we know that all of these have the possibility of having a 5 in it. And knowing that, we can eliminate fives from any of these. And this is, this is already gone. The five's already gone from there. And the same thing with seven. And seven's gone from the, from over here as well. And there's no sevens here. So you know this can't be a five or a seven. We don't have to mark anything there yet. Some people do. They put an X. They're a little tiny X. I don't like to do that. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. You can do it. And then you can erase the X later. I just think it clutters up the field. Okay, so what else have we got? We've got a 2 and a 3 squared. So um, it, there could be a 9. And there could be a, the other numbers here. There could be a, nine, you know, a 2 and a 9. So 2 is a contender. 2 is a contender here, but it doesn't have to be a 2. You'll see why in a minute. A 9 can be a contender. Because we could also use a 6 and a 3. In other words, break this 3 into two threes. So we combine these two threes as a nine and use this two before, but this time we can combine it as a three and this is a six. So the other factors could be three and six. And since we have a choice, oops, of it being 3 and 6 or 2 and 9, we don't know which ones will be in there yet, so we can't eliminate this 9 or this 6 or this 3 or this 2. But we can't eliminate the 5 7s from here because we know 5 and 7 will definitely go in here. Okay, so that's one of the fruit that we can um, get rid of. And you also know 
because we've just done it, that the factors of 315 will be, let's get rid of these two, clean it up as we go. Got to get a bigger eraser. <laughs> okay. Um, three, three, five, and seven. Okay. So we know that uh, any of these could be, but there has to be a five in one of these cells. And there must be a seven in one of these cells. And there must be a nine in one of these cells. Now the reason I say there must be a nine is you couldn't combine this three with any of these things. You know, the five or the seven to make a number because if you multiplied five or seven by three you get a number higher than nine. So all that's left is these two threes and there are only three cells. It's not like you could put a three in here and multiply it by the three in here because one of, uh, one of the cells must have a 5 in it. One of the cells must have a 7 in it. So there's only one cell left, and we have to use all of what's left over here in that one cell. And this 2 threes, 3 to the second, is going to be a 9. So this must be a 9. Well, um, 9 must appear in one of these cells. So we'll have either a 579 or a 597 or a 759. You, you see where we're going with that, okay? So we can't really eliminate anything at the moment that I can see. Um, but we will go on to eliminate plenty in the next round. And while we're at it, we're going to just clean this up. I'll clean it up even better for the next video. Okay. We'll see you in the next video. This was step five. We'll see you in step six.